G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to a massive video, I'm not sure how long this is going to go for, but I'm so pumped to show you guys, obviously back in March with the 2020 NRL Traders, I started collecting these cards, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you everything I have collected in the past, March is the 3rd, I was going to say 6 months, it's been 8 months of collecting, it's been a fantastic journey, I'm still collecting to this day, but I want to show you just how much I've got. Um, some of these cards are, are so valuable, it's not funny. There may be some cards that you've realized that I've pulled and they're not in this video. Either they've been sent for redemption, uh, traded or sold, so keep that in mind. But you're going to be seeing pl plenty of autographs. Peter Hiku there, Billy Slater there, Legends. And you're going to see plenty of Premiership Predictors. Let's get straight into this. We'll be going through 2010 Champs folder, uh, some classic cards. We'll be going through 2020 Elite, 2019 Elite, as well as some 2020 Traders and some little cards that I think are worth something. So I'm pumped. Let's do it. This is Entertain House's 2020 NRL Collection. So let's get straight into it. 2019 Premiership Predictor. Sydney Roosters pulled this in a Gimco break. Make sure you check out Gimco for plenty of breaks. Nice predictor there. And I sent this off and I did get the winning predictor set, the checklist, Tedesco Premiers, Cooper Cronk, Luke Keery. These cards are so nice. The fireworks in the background for celebrating. Latrell Mitchell. It's a full team set, guys. Jarabria Hargrave, Boyd Cordner, Victor Radley and Jake Friend to start us off. So guys, in Premiership Predictors, that Cowboys card's coming out. We have the Cronulla Sharks, the Canberra Raiders, Newcastle Knights, the North Queensland Cowboys, the St. George Illawarra Dragons, the mighty Parramatta Eels, uh, and then you've got the Rabbitohs there. I do have the Panthers and the Storm as well. Panthers currently sitting at Nans for whatever reason, and the Storm has been sent for redemption. Also give you a tease there, that is the Legend Signature Petro 7 Receiver card from the 2020 Traders. So, awesome Premiership Predictor set there. It's not the full set, but still nice and lots of different colours and great team. It was very close to the top 8 what I did have, but uh, yeah. Now on the other side of these is some high-end stuff, a Mike Acebo Gold League Leader, which is numbered to uh, 100, as well as the Parramatta Gold Reed Marnie. As you can see to the left there, there is a Roger Tuovasashek Bronze Street Art. Uh, they're numbered to 30, no sorry, 30, yes, and it is numbered 4 of 30. Nice low number there on the Roger, but that's uh, some goodies in the 2020 Traders. Now there are some goodies here, some club heroes from plenty of teams. A few I've sold, but got quite a few of the club heroes there. If you guys want to have a look, Josh Papali, your Mitchell Moses must have, as well as a full black street art set. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the back because something really cool, not the Bulldogs, is here. We do have a in bronze authentic signatures. Junior Paulo, Josh Alloyer, Justin O'Neill. Uh, Viliami Kikau, fantastic player. Cameron McKittis, who had an outstanding season. Kurt Mann, who was just phenomenal. Deserves a spot in the Queensland team, in my opinion. Nat Butcher. Now, funny story, this is actually one of my first cards. I think this is in my fifth packet and my second video collecting. Um, so, awesome to pull a bronze signature. And a Braden Hamlin Ueli. Now, I did have a Bateman, but you'll see later, I don't have the bronze Bateman anymore guys you might have seen me start to open this in my uh, hype promo and here it is this time you actually get to see it here we go superstar gem paul gallon uh, raiders uh, bronson harrison superstar gem kevin gordon gem sensation these are from the 2010 champs set a willie tonga sig brett white david mead so both titans sensation gems and i have both broncos somewhere but i couldn't find them anthony quinn impact Ben Roberts, Impact, and Chris Hyington, Impact. So some really nice classics there. On the back, you've got Ben Hornby and Nate Miles into a Nathan Stapleton Sensations gem. Some classic Knights players there. The Knights jerseys, a team I had. I think I've got the full Storm set, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're on the back there as well. And some classic cards there with at the back. 
Brisbane Bronco and the Canterbury Bulldogs. Um, some little hits there. It was the Carl Webb, which was the sketch card, the Parramatta Eels rookie card, uh, the Josh Reynolds Young at the Dogs rookie standout there, and the Triple Centurion Jason Croker. So some nice classic cards in my 2010 album. Now these cards here are actually uh, kind of a collector item from the Magic Round numbered uh, to 128 these ones were so pretty cool uh magic round brisbane last year mitchell moses and they all had uh i think it was first try scorer actually won something and everyone got something different uh Curate holland paul vaughan from the dragons uh david fusatua Corey norman cameron smith nice card there be nice to get that sign but doubt it will happen uh, Sean Kenny Dow, who obviously retired last year. Uh, I think he plays for the Super League now. Wonga Blake in a Panthers jersey. Won't see that again. Uh, Elijah Taylor. A DCE. Nice looking card there. Matt Gillette, also retired. King Clint Gutherson. I can't find myself liking calling it King. It's just Gutho for me. Josh Addo Carr, really nice card there. The purple shines well. Lachlan Lewis and Ben Hunt. Now, if you watch the hype promo, and this is basically an NRL video, but these are all that I own, so I thought I'd show you guys. The two NBA cards that I own, I'll show you the first one, which you've seen in the video. It is a Rookie Signatures Lonzo Ball. Try and get that more in there. Nice. From... Lakers back in the day uh, and it is numbered number five of 99 if you can see that there so fantastic there the other card I own it's so good I'm so happy to own this it is a patch numbered 14 of 49 origins memorabilia LeBron James from the Lakers so to have a patch and game worn merchandise from King James is pretty damn cool. So, Lonzo and LeBron at the moment. I'd love to add Kyle Kuzma to my collection. But for now, they're the two NBA cards I've got. And I thought I'd include it in this video because a few of you like NBA, including myself. So, something different. So, a card that is guaranteed to one per box that I did enjoy collecting. And yes, the fan's going off. It's hot in here, but it was annoying me. So, the fan is off for the rest of the video. Uh, Mojo collection so you've got ruby sapphire numbered differently rare player cards um, and everyone really likes to collect the set which is something i guess i'd like to do but it's quite expensive so let's go through the mojos i've kept there is a few that i have gotten rid of as i've mentioned in my trailer i'm just going to say this once again please guys do not ask if these cards are for sale these are cards that i personally have been attached to the players or i just like the look of and they are not for sale not for trade anything in this video Let's get straight into it. Number 29 of 40. Ruby from the 2019 Elite Series. A Mitchell Moses Ruby Edition. Really nice there. You can see me filming. That's the best I can do. Now, this bloke here, I've got his boots just up there. David Nofaluma. Sapphire from the West Tigers. I will get the boots and stick it with the card eventually. It's numbered 18 of 20. So the 20 Sapphires rare. Another one I really like, number 12 of 20, one of the first cards I got in the 2020 Elite. I think it was in my first box, actually. It was either him or Aiden Tolman. It was either first or second. It is Stephen Crichton, who had an outstanding season, rookie season at the Penrith Panthers, and I think he's a fantastic player, so I'm stoked to have that one. Now, this was my final 2019 Elite box, and it's numbered nine, uh, 14 of 20. It is Clint Gutherson from the Parramatta Eel. It is a sapphire card, not a ruby, so it's really nice to, to get the blue um, Parramatta colours there. I do have another Parramatta player, which you'll see shortly. But here is a big hit, massive hit here. Ruby Josh Papali. Josh Papali, a fantastic player. I absolutely love him. But this Josh Papali is not just any ruby. This is the first one ever made. It is numbered the 01 of 40 Josh Papali, so fantastic. I was considering originally selling it, but I just couldn't find myself to do so. I think it's a fantastic card, and I'm so happy to own it and respect to Josh. Number 23 of 40, Reed Marnie Ruby from the 2020 Elite. 
The head looks a little bit strange on it, but I don't know why. Compared to this one, maybe it's just the haircut at the time, the Sapphire 17 of 20 Reed Marnie. I love Reed Marnie. You'll see that throughout this video. Reed Marnie, Sapphire, 17 of 20 from the 2019 Elite. So there you go, guys. If you're wondering, yes, I did get rid of most of my Mojo. These are the ones I'm sticking solid with. Happy with my Papali, my Crichton, my Moses, my Marnie, uh, and my Nofaluma because of the boots. But th that's all I need, honestly. I feel like I've given collectors a chance to collect stuff that they want from their team or their players, just like me. And I've done some really good trades, gotten some really good deals. So anyone that's helped me get these mojos that the ones I want, I really want to thank you guys heaps. Now, the 2020 Elite Series that came out this year managed to feature a fantastic player signing. They were numbered to 110. There was uh, Kangaroos, there was Melbourne Storm, and there was um, the Queensland Maroons. So absolutely fantastic for Billy Slater signatures to come out. Really hard to get your hands on at first, but a lot of people selling them now and at a good price. So if you want to get a Slater and you're a big fan, um, I suggest doing so. Now, the first Slater that I got was the Melbourne Storm Billy Slater. Uh, I got this one from a Facebook deal. Now, you may have seen Zach, who's been in a few of these videos. Zach owns the Queensland Maroons edition. Now, Zach owns number 89 of 110 for the Maroons. Somehow, I actually own 89 of 110 for the Melbourne Storm, so really nice there, but it gets even better. Here it is, traded with my Black Diamond set for a few of these cards, including these ones, because you may have seen that I did have a Melbourne Storm Black Diamond set. Uh, Queensland Maroons, Billy Slater, 40 of 110, no 89 there. So they look really nice together, and they do come in threes. And of course, here he is, Billy Slater, Kangaroos edition from the Master Series, number 47 of 110. The, the um, one touch has a bit of tape on it. So there's the Billies together. I'll try and... It's hard to... There we go. Queensland, Storm, and Kangaroos. Absolutely fantastic for these Billy Slater cards to come out. And uh, I've got plenty more signatures and plenty more patches to show you. We're not even halfway through this. Now in this section of the video, really exciting here, I'm going to be showing you some jersey patches worn by some fantastic players. Um, a few of these are autographed, not all of them, um, but these are, these are cards are just so sick. The booklets especially are so good. You may have seen I previously had a Ryan James booklet, which I do have another one, which was part of the trade with the Black Diamond, but it's something that I will look at offloading or trading. Uh, but let's get straight into this. Let's start off with the absolute... Fantastic one, potentially retiring, been a big player of the game for years. It is a jersey patch of Cameron Smith, game-worn jersey from 2017. Uh, Storm defeat the Broncos 30 points to nil uh, as he wears the number nine jersey in the 2017 final. So really nice purple patch with a little button there. It's in a little protector, but for the Melbourne Storm, Cameron Smith, awesome patch there. Let's get the big one out of the way. Uh, this one is in a one-touch, number 34 of 40. Josh Hodson, jersey autograph. These were actually legit on eBay for like 700 bucks. I think they're down to around the 450, 600 mark now, roughly for everyone. I guess it depends on the number. Speaking of number, the jersey contains an auto on the left and then on the right. Now, this is actually the nine on the back of the jersey. So the number nine on the back of Josh Hodson's jersey here. Uh, this is from the Raiders defeating the Gold Coast Titans last year. Round one, 24 to six. So really nice spotlight booklet there. Um, this was pulled in one of my breaks. No one picked up the Warriors. No one was buying them, I think. And um, I ended up taking them and... What a break it was. Obviously, pulling that was, was fantastic. Let's move on to Josh Reynolds from the West Tigers. This is numbered 36 of 40. So these cards are numbered to 40 per player. And as I said, the value is expensive. Josh Reynolds is a really nice patch there of a bit of the Bryden's Lawyer, I think, there, that corner. Um, and there is the signature for Josh Reynolds. This particular one is from the Tigers, also defeating the Titans, 30 points to 14, in which Josh Reynolds wore the number six jersey. 
So really nice spotlight booklet there. In person, guys, these cards are absolutely mental. Let's go back a couple years, something that I own uh, that I got really nice deal for, numbered 48 of 165 from 2017, I believe. No, 2018 NRL Elite is a Valentine Holmes jersey patch. Now, this is from... The Cowboys actually beating the Sharks in the qualifying final, 15 points to 14, in which Valentine Holmes played at fullback for that game. So I showed you the Smith. Next up, we'll go, we'll go with Tarek Sims. Now, I used to have the 0-1. However, I did trade it to a massive Dragons fan, so good on him. I'm glad he owns it now. I now have number 14 of 40 for the Tarek Sim from the St. George Illawarra Dragons, and it does include... A bit of the fire breathing dragon. Really nice patch there. A lot better than the O1, in my opinion. Uh, there's the signature from Tarek Sims and the dragon there. These booklets, as I've mentioned, so shiny, so nice. And um, if I could have them all in one touches, it'd be awesome. But what I do do is I put them in these little glass cases like this. So they are really nice and protected. They're stacked with each other. Um, let's show you the David Fafita next. Obviously, David Fafita. This one, still worth a bit. Um, with Regan Campbell-Gillard and Api Corusau, who I don't have, um, it kind of decreased in value in the fact that they've changed teams. But David Fafita, he's stuck strong. Uh, this is from week one, 58-0 Eels over the Bronco. David Fafita's piece of his jersey. Nice brown there for Brisbane Broncos. I don't actually have this one in a protector. Um, I probably should, but it's nice. I like it. Next up, we have Aiden Guerra from the Newcastle Knights. This one is number 24 of 40. I think I showed this one in the promo, and the Aiden Guerra does contain the ISC logo from the shoulder. Yeah, from the shoulder. So that is from up on the shoulder. 24 of 40. Aiden Guerra is retired now, so fantastic. It is from the Sea Eagles defeating the Knights in 2019, 26-18, in which Aiden Guerra came off the bench in that one. Uh, two left. We'll go with this one, and then I'll tell you a little story. So first one is from Finals Week 2, Storm defeating the Eels 32-0 last year. It is a Clint Gutherson road to finals patch. Really, really nice patch here, and as a para fan, I really like that stripe. A few people got hard done by by these patches and didn't like them, but really happy with mine. Um, I can't remember, Zach got a patch, but I can't remember what it looks like, but this card here has literally been around Australia. This card has been posted to the wrong addresses, not by myself, but by others. Um, it's also been, it's, it's a crazy story. It really has been everywhere. I'm just glad it's here after two months, uh, sent to the wrong addresses, sent to the wrong person from the card company. There's just so much going on. Really nice patch. It is numbered 18 of 40. Chanel harris Tavita from the New Zealand Warriors. A lot of people messaging me saying they love this player. Uh, in jersey number 18 for this particular game, where the Knights win 34-0 in round one. Let's have a look at the patch. Now, the patch here, if you see, is... If you can see me doing that, compare that, it's really bumpy. Almost like it wasn't packed properly or like it's got a stitching cut in it, because there's a little thread out of it. But it's a really nice booklet. The dark black looks nice. And I'm pretty sure this is from the Nines jersey. I think they used the Nines jersey for the Chanel Harris Tavita. But I'm going to hold a few of these up for you, just to show you just how cool these booklets are together, especially um, the Spotlight booklets, just so you can get a little idea of what they look like. I might chuck the para one up for you guys, but uh, yeah, that is as much as I can hold right now, but the spotlight booklets are phenomenal in person. As I said, they are literally worth hundreds of dollars, so the fact that I own so many and these are players that I really like, I love the patches I've got. I've loved helping people with um, getting the Ryan James of someone who was a big Titans fan collecting his final, but awesome. Um, let's get into some uh priority cards so my knees are absolutely sweating on the bed so uh, i'm just going to hold most of these cards up first i'm going to show you a head-to-head -head card that i have got obviously being an eels fan as you can tell there i did need to collect this one 
It is numbered number 10 of 65. It is the head-to-head -head Dylan Brown and Corey Norman case card. Now, I never collected a case myself, but I did manage to get my hands on that card, so I'm really stoked about that one. Next up, just thrown in here, is a rookie standouts Parramatta card from Tonello uh, Lasalo, I believe the name was. Uh, and then we do have a Hazem El Mazur, uh, sorry, a Israel Falao, as well as a Mark Gaznia. And we do also have some young guns thrown in here, some players that I really like. So we'll go through the young guns. There is the Hazem El Mazuri that I was speaking about previously. Hazmel Mazuri from the Century card. Um, we're going to show you some black uh, young guns before I get into the priority edition cards. So I mentioned Reed Marnie, absolutely love him. Reed Marnie, white young gun there. Now I also have the white Kyle Flanagan, obviously not at the Roosters anymore, but I rate him as a player. And I guess to an extent I'll be chasing his priority card, uh, but you'll see why. Reed Marnie, black young gun. Uh, number 110 of 115. Now, I actually do have another one for sale. So, I am selling this one for 15 bucks. Not my number, but the other one. Uh, Young Guns Black, and it is Cameron Smith numbered. Number 9 of 115. Lil Pappy. Ryan Pappenhausen. Fantastic Young Gun Black there. Great player. Stoked to own that one. And the reason I guess I'm chasing a priority Kyle Flanagan, even though they're hella expensive... Uh, number four of 115, the black Kyle Flanagan. So I'd have the whole Kyle Flanagan set, but those are the black young guns. Moving on to priority cards. We'll, first, we'll go through the 2020 Traders edition. So these two here will go together. Raiders is 123 of 200, and the Storm is 130 of 200. First up, the Raiders 4 and 2 edition, Charles Nickel Klockstad and Jared Croker. And the Melbourne Storm 4 and 2 edition, which is Josh Addo Carr and Cameron Smith. Also from the case card, I do have the Josh Papali and Dylan Napa. So it'd be awesome to get that Josh Papali side signed. And if I can, the Dylan Napa too, but I feel like I've got more of a chance with Papali. Uh, next up, the two Eels priority cards, 35 of 67 and 60 of 67. Top try scorer, Dally M, Mike Acevo. And Dally M halfback of the year, Mitchell Moses. Now the big card, pretty sure I covered this. If you guessed it, congrats. Which young gun do I own? These go for like 400 to 500 bucks. They're crazy price. My one is number 7 of 19. I did have a junior Satola. It's not a player that I'm interested. If you have an Eels one, definitely hit me up. But I like this guy. My young gun is uh, Stephen Crichton. Priority young gun edition. The gold shine at the back. I never rated these cards, but in person, they are just so nice. The glimmer and then the serial number on the back. So awesome. And I had to stop filming for a bit, uh, but I'm back. Back to filming. And the final lot of cards I'm going to be showing you is my signatures now. Wow, there is a lot to get through here. Really pumped up. Some of these in one touches. Some of them just in top loaders. And uh, I do apologise for the fan, but it is boiling right now. First signature, actually numbered 80 of 80. League sensation, Nathan Cleary. Outstanding season from Nathan Cleary. Very popular card. 80 of 80 there. My hand is getting heavy. Some new ones at the top. These have come only for barely recently numbered... 23 of 130 from 2017 Elite. Young Guns signature, Bevan French from the Parramatta Eels. He's having a fantastic uh, re-signed with Wigan. Great player, prospect. My first black signature from the League Sensations. I'm pretty sure I guessed this one as well in my predictions. Number 23 of 40. Dallin Whiteny Zelezniak. Look at the gold texture around that. I think it's absolutely awesome. So happy to have that one. A Peter Hiku League Sensation from the New Zealand Warriors. Shans Nickel Klockstad from the Canberra Raiders. Young Gun Sig. Nice one there. That was. I went a bet and I, I got that card, so I was stoked. This was pulled in another Gimco break. This is Brandon 
Smith from the Melbourne Storm, number 19 of 90. This is fairly new, I think it was about two months ago. Uh, AJ Brimson from the Titans, young gun. Had a fantastic game on at fullback for the Maroons. Uh, this is numbered number 36 of 170 from the 2019 Traders. Authentic signature, Manu Ma'u. I think it's awesome to have a former player who I really liked. I think it's a nice signature. Looks like a bloody, um, those things in the hospital where the heart goes up and down, but pretty cool there. Blake Ferguson, league sensation signature, really nice card, nice signature too. Uh, Sean Johnson from the Cronulla Sharks, 83 of 90. Dylan Brown, young gun from the Parramatta Eels. There's no way I was getting rid of that one. Hand signed, uh, got in contact with this bloke. Hopefully we can have him on the channel one day in the future. Um, but I bought him a Sapphire card of himself. He was absolutely stoked, so he sent this back. I might actually get it out of the plastic. I'll keep it in the top loader though for sure. Maybe it looks a little bit better. Hand signed, um, he is your Clive Churchill medal winner. Ryan Pappenhausen signed this one with the gold texter there. Young Guns, so yeah, I've helped him out getting some cards. He's a big collector um, and he's just a fantastic player. Mason Linu from the Newcastle Knights. Young Guns from the 2019 Elite Series. A Cameron Munster, the Prez. Straight to Byron. 55 of 80, nice signature there. And he put a six on the number six. He put the number six with like a smiley face. So congrats if you're watching this in your own number six. That's awesome. 21 of 80, so it's his jersey number backwards. It is Wade Graham from the Cronulla Sharks autograph. League sensation. The league sensations are nice. I used to like the white more than the black. The black has grown on me a lot now. Benji Marshall from the West Tigers. Fantastic there. 36 of 80. I have a few cards that are like in the 30s, 34, uh, 36, 35. Yeah, it's all in the 30s. 40 of 40, another final one. Lachlan Lewis, black young guns. This one with silver, not gold texture from the 2019 Elite Series. We've still got about eight signatures to show you. Authentic Navy Series, limited to 750. Clint Gutherson. Now, having this makes me think that I don't need the SIG patch because this card is available with a Gutho signature there as well. But it makes it worth an extra 200 bucks. And I just feel like having both of these, I'm happy. It's a nice jersey. It's classic Gutho. I'm happy to own it. A two authentic, we've got four left. Two authentic signatures from the 2020 Traders. One is numbered 85 or 100. One is numbered 88. I'll show you the one you guys know first, which was originally, and I don't know what is now, my favourite card. That was the Silver Authentic Payne Haas from the Brisbane Broncos. Now, this one is apparently damaged. I guess if you have a closer look, you can see it on the logo. But I still think I got this for a fantastic price. And I actually got this for just, just over 50 bucks. It is a authentic Silver Series. John Bateman from the Canberra Raiders. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, but there's a little bit of damage to the logo there. You can see like the, I guess like there, you can kind of see it. But awesome, so happy to own this. So um, I am selling my bronze edition one um, for that reason. These two here in top loaders, fantastic players. Uh, first, we'll go with Parramatta, Ryan Madison, league sensation, number 69 here of 80. So fantastic there, looks really nice in the one touch as well. And the final card that I'm gonna be showing you for this video is, oh, that nearly fell down, that that was okay. Numbered 72 of 80, also one of the first cards I had the Canberra Raiders in a break, it was a card I was chasing. I'm pretty sure it was on my want list and I'm so happy to own it. I prefer some players in white over the black like the Valentine Holmes and this is one player I prefer in the white over the black. It is your 2020 Dally M medalist Jack Whiten league sensation from the Canberra Raiders. Now cards that I do have coming uh, is a black Jared Raria Hargraves, a black Tom Travojevic. Besides that, I've got a white Adam Reynolds coming to be redeemed. And guys, if you do have um, any cards 
Priority Edition from the Parramatta Eel, please do hit me up because I would love to own those. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been lengthy. I hope you've enjoyed this premiere and uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. There'll be plenty more card videos, especially going into the new year. I'll be doing my final break of the year next week and everyone who's a part of that, good luck. You've got your teams. It was a draft style. Lots of fun. I really enjoyed making this video. Ton of fun. Getting to show you guys what I own. I've got so many base cards and even inserts around this room. It's just mental and to be able to show you everything, it's, it's just awesome to finally get it out there as these videos um, have been promised for a long time. So that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, subscribe to the channel and uh, get your merch as well in the uh, off season. If you want to be at a game and get a photo together in merch, it'll be absolutely awesome. Awesome guys. Thank you so much and I will see you guys later.